Hey guys, Gaz Montana here, the original demo disc player. I hope everyone's doing a right and everything. Now, a feature I've been waiting for to be added into the game with this Chop Shop DLC has actually been added today, and that's the ability to claim some of these vehicles from the vehicle robbery. So you can claim them and keep them in your garage. It's going to be a small fee, and there's actually a way to get the fee even smaller, and that is if you own a document forgery office, uh, which is one of the MC businesses, the worst MC business now actually has some usage. So if you own that, you're actually going to be able to claim the vehicle for a less of a fee. Now the fee with the document forgery office costs only $10,000, which in GTA Online is basically nothing. Now what it costs without the document forgery office, I have no idea. I'm guessing it's going to be around a hundred grand. So I reckon it'd be around 100k, but I have no idea. Somebody uh, will have to uh, let us know down in the comments. But let's just say it is 100k, okay? The cheapest document forgery office is $650,000, the one in Grapeseed. Now, you're never going to be using this to actually earn money in the game because it's not worth your time, okay? So just keep it closed down because it doesn't matter if it's closed down or if it's up and running. If it's up and running, you're going to be paying fees every single GTA day, so you may as well just keep it closed down, and you're still going to be getting the bonus for owning a document forgery office and uh, claiming these vehicles. Now, you might ask yourself, uh, why would you want to claim the convertible Comet if you've already got it? Okay, you've already got a convertible Comet. Well, this one, this week, uh, which you have to do the Tony robbery for, actually has a Los Venturas license plate. And the only way to get that is by doing the robbery, the McTony robbery, and then claiming it. Okay, so every single week, there is a chance it's gonna have a unique license plate and that's why you're going to want that version of it, okay? Now, this um, Las Venturas license plate, when you actually do go to customize it, you can change the name on this one. I actually said Famous, which is uh, pretty cool anyway, but I changed it to the Montana one, which is the one that I've had for years for when you used to have the app, and now you have to go to a website to uh, make your own custom license plate. You can actually put your name on the license plate with the Las Venturas license plate, so it's pretty cool uh, for that reason. And that's why you'd want to do it. So, guys, just go onto the computer every single week, see which car you can buy, and how you know you, which one you you can actually uh, claim or slash buy is uh, the one with this icon right here. It's a little icon uh, of a personal garage, a red icon in the corner. So it looks like there's only one vehicle that you can claim this week out of the three, and any of the vehicles that you've been holding on to, unfortunately, you can't claim any of those. It's only going to be like one vehicle every week. Maybe they'll add more than one. Some weeks, I have no idea, or maybe it will eventually just be all three. But yeah, man, unfortunately, it's only just the one. And just so you know, once you do actually claim this convertible comment and with the Los Venturas license plate, you can't then go and customize another vehicle and then pop that license plate on that. So you have a Los Venturas license plate on any car you want. It's just for that car. Um, but yeah, man, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you found it helpful, drop a like on the video and comment down below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and hit the notification button so you don't miss any more GTA videos like this one. Have a lovely day. Godspeed. See you next one. Peace out.